Yo, what's up, dudes? So, uh, I'm on here to talk about this, the camera I will not be keeping, the GoPro Hero 10. Uh, I make no judgments as to its quality or anything like that. This is just sheerly on how GoPro treated me as a loyal customer. Uh, just for a little background, I bought the Hero 7 on release day. I bought the Hero 8 on release day. I bought the Hero 9 on release day. And I bought the Hero 10 on release day. But this one's going back, and here's why. The uh, Hero 7 cost me $299. The Hero 8 cost me $299. The Hero 9, last year, it, the, the camera was $299, but to get the $299 price, you had to buy into their stupid, worthless subscription program. You know, that backup system that the second you uploaded 50 terabytes of data, they would plots and be like, oh, that's not really unlimited, right? Th those backup services are a joke. So it's worthless to me. The only thing in that whole sort of subscription process that was even of some interest would be the discount. And because they had switched last year to a new battery system, I found myself needing you know, a, an external charger and some extra batteries. So I wound up buying uh, those products from the site and using my subscription, and I saved $15. So I spent 50 to save 15. You know, you can just do the math on that one, right? I mean, it was just a complete, just throwing your money down a well for that subscription. It's com completely worthless. So, uh, this year I was like, uh, you know, they better give me a good price on this camera this year, having bought into that subscription last year, uh, a subscription that was going to expire on the anniversary, right? In other words, they're going to release the 10 on the same day as the nine, because they know a lot of people signed up last year on the 16th and they're up for renewal on the 16th. Now, what you need to know about their subscription process is that it automatically renews, right? They do not want to have to go through a renewal process. So I had gone in there 48 hours prior and said it to not automatically renew because I didn't want to pay for another year of that service, a service I didn't find. And what if I don't buy the 10? What if I don't buy another camera? I don't want to have another year of service for a service that I, another year of subscription for a service I just never really used. So I had set it up to end by its own terms that afternoon, the afternoon of the 16th, September 16th. So I uh, go on there on the morning of the 16th and they're quoting me $549 for the camera in subscription with a $100 discount, $449. I'm like, that's $100 over last year's price. You're really, you're increasing the price by $100? And they're like, well, if you don't want the subscription, then you could just get the camera for $399. I'm like, that's no discount at all. They're like, well, it is, though, because we're priced the camera now at $4.99. I'm like, last year's camera was $3.99. So you're, you're increasing the price of the camera by $100? And it was basically, yeah. And I'm going, wow, I mean, I guess that's the best price. And I mean, I guess this is the best deal I can get. And so I bought it. Boy, was I wrong. So I went back later that same day, got busy with other things. And then later in the day, I was like, oh, you know what? I bought that GoPro. Let me check my order status. Let me check, you know, let me go on and just look at the GoPro again because I just bought this thing. And you know how that goes. You buy something, you go on, and you just look over all the specs, you know, anticipating its arrival. And I go on there, and they have, like, you know, the ad on the front page, and they say, buy the new GoPro Hero 10. Uh... 549 down to 399 they had dropped the price by fifty dollars in just those few hours i hit the roof i'm like you you can't even be serious you just dropped the price by fifty dollars now instead of paying 399 for just the camera i can spend 399 and get the camera and the subscription why wasn't that offered to me as a loyal customer so i open up a support ticket for my order i should have just canceled i don't know what i was thinking because the support ticket was just a wild goose chase. It just basically delayed it until they were able to print a shipping label and put me out of cancellation. That's exactly what happened. It took two and a half hours for them to finally reach me over the phone. 
And when they did, they basically said there was nothing they could do. And the guy tried to be helpful, but he was like, yeah, so your subscription was still active in the morning. And so, you know, you get one price, but then when your subscription expired, you know, you were offered a better price. And I'm like, you cannot be serious with this. As a loyal subscriber, clearly someone who bought into last year's camera, you upcharge us? And he's like, no, uh, well, yeah, but you know, listen, you can very easily fix this by just going to uh, our website after you get the camera and processing the 30-day uh, no questions asked return. And then, you know, once you get your money back on that, it'll take about a week. He goes, once you get your money back on that, he goes, then you can, um, you know, buy the new combination and because you won't have an active subscription, you know, you'll get the better price. And I'm thinking to myself, no. You cannot even be serious. Well, you're right about one thing. I will be returning the camera. But if you think I'm buying another camera from you, you're insane. You had one shot to get it right, and you blew it. Uh, you committed the cardinal sin. You, you took my money for granted. You just thought that I was going to come in and just buy this no matter what it cost. And for a couple of hours there, you kind of had me until I realized your scheme. And uh, now you're dead to me because you, you showed your true colors. You showed that really, you know, you were punishing people who had last year's camera. You were punishing people who bought into the subscription last year. It's almost like you were trying to like retroactively get the money that you gave us last year on this year's camera. So I'm out. I'm, I don't, I don't want to sit here and try to parse your crazy pricing schemes. You lost me. You know, literally four cameras annually on release date. Gone. You lost me. And so, you know, good luck with that. If I were you, I would bronze this camera. Get this one back. I would bronze it. Have it mounted on a plaque and you can put it up on the wall as a monument to your stupidity. And every single time uh, sales are down, you can point to the bronzed GoPro 10 and say, remember when we pushed it too far? Yeah, yeah, that, that's probably why we're in the, the position we are today. So to be quite frank, uh, you know, the camera isn't all that great. My friggin' Note 20 Ultra crushes it for video quality. And you mount that to a gimbal, and you're, you're just as good for what I use it for, which is walking around. I don't mount it to cars or bikes or friggin' anything like that. Uh, for my use, quite frankly, my phone is a better item. So this is going back. Um, I, I'm stunned that GoPro would treat a loyal customer like that, but here we are. So if you paid $3.99 and you only got the camera, or if you paid $450, you overpaid, you know, for the camera and subscription by $50, a 12.5% premium over what everybody else paid who didn't have that. So I would, uh, if I were you, I would examine that and see if it's worth it for you. It wasn't worth it for me. I'm sending mine back. And uh, there you go. Uh, maybe I'll go over to the DJI website and uh, see if they have, uh, uh, you know, was it the Osmo? or whatever it is. I don't know. I'll just use my phone. It, and in a very real way, these sort of like little cameras are, are going obsolete. So maybe it's just time to recognize that and, and move ahead. So there you have it. All right, dudes. Thanks so much for hanging out. Sorry for the rant video today, but uh, I was just I was stunned, quite frankly. And it quite uh, I, I found this, the set of circumstances what I would call unfortunate and disappointing but oh well that right there's a great line he wants it and so he gets it <laughs> so this is clearly the situation you wanted well now you have it i'm returning it all right dudes as always thanks so much for hanging out and rock on <laughs>